other protesters have become targets. They feel on a personal level that someone dressed in black, you know, stepping on American flag is the scourge of the earth. They will act personally and more maliciously. I have seen so many brutal arrests. They see these people as domestic terrorists because that's what their president has labeled them. I don't believe they're protesters. I, I believe there are very few people at this point in time that are truly protesting. People are getting hurt. Martin Luther King, he walked during the day. He protested during the day. He wasn't scared to hide his face. I look like they continue pushing the people out. We're gonna go take a look. And in regards to the protesters, I mean, has there been an instance where you may have agreed with it be calling a riot because a protester had did something? Mm -hmm. I would say that I know I've identified police from other counties who have dressed up to look like anti-fascist protesters. Get the dogs! Shot over here. It does look like they're shooting off uh, paintballs. I believe these people have alternative agendas, and I I believe that they're rioters. They're, they are rioting in the streets. We watch it every night. We haven't seen this in 20 years. They're breaking windows. They're causing havoc. They're lighting garbage cans on fires. There's been murders. There's been beatings. I can call that rioting. targeting this van and slashing the tires. Uh, how many times uh, has this happened to this, to this vehicle so uh, far in the protest? Yeah, they slashed total of uh, 11 tires. 11 tires? So we've had reports of police uh, singling out protesters at, at, uh, in the unrest in Portland, either targeting protesters, smashing their personal property. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Well. If they're if they truly are targeting protesters, mm -hmm. has anyone thought maybe they're targeting the leaders of the protesters that mm -hmm. are causing the civil unrest? Mm -hmm. If you're doing things to provoke or escalate, then you know you gotta pay the bill. So we caught up with the protesters. Um, we talked to a couple ACLU uh, observers, and they said rocks and bottles were thrown. Um, we caught up with the protesters after the police pushed them uh, to Cesar E. Chavez Street. Um, I don't see any more movement, but I believe they're going to push again. Let's go quickly! Let's go! the windows of vehicles were in their way. Um, 
we smashed the windows of people's cars that live on the street. There was nobody uh, near the car when they smashed. Do you think they're targeting this specific van because it's recognizable? And yeah, they know any, to the any, protesters? Any, anything that has any sort of BLM marking of any form of kind will be targeted. I've seen them slash medics tires. I've seen them bust in windows. I've seen them. I've seen them slash tires of a park person who was disabled. So, yo, that's his yeah. new car. Why'd they do that? Did they just walk by and smash it as they were hopping on? That's this his car. Person? Did they see those? Is your car? Yeah. Whoa! Did they see you touch it or they just fucking smashed it? They smashed they it. They were walking. I was over there and I heard a pop and I was like, oh no. It was it a new car? car? No. No, 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 straight up. No. They were walking they were back on their cars. They were all going back. back. My own view is sending more police made it worse. The protest numbers were dwindling the week before he sent people over for 4th of July weekend and for about two weeks and they increased 10 times and I mean from 200 people to 2,000. to riot. I don't think uh, people are going to leave anytime soon, but it looks like they're going to push. We're going to stay with them. Uh, let's go. The president keeps on tweeting law and order, and he, and he tweets about Portland, about the unrest, and about sending in more federal troops. Do you think that will escalate into more violence, or will it, you know, will, will, will you see the protest go down? Sending more cops to use excessive force on protesters when the reason they're protesting is because of the excessive <laughs> force in the first place doesn't right. make sense. Do I think that Trump is purposely instigating it or escalating it by sending in more troops? No, I don't. I think he's doing his job and he should send in however many troops it needs to to clean house mm -hmm. and put the rioters down so that the peaceful protesters can peacefully protest. Protesters threw a rock, smashed the backside of the police officer's car. They drove off, it didn't look like they're gonna go and respond. You see broken windows every night, you see crime escalating. I don't think by sending in more police, making it worse, mm -hmm. I think he's doing his job in trying to put an end to these riots. Looks like they're entering the residence Looks like they're arresting somebody. Look at the people are for the time being. What's your name, officer? Oh, you doing right? You doing good? It does look like they're. Uh, I think they had individuals in the crowd that weren't. Uh, it doesn't look like they were, it was, somebody was pointed out by another civilian, but it looks like it was a police officer that pointed them out, maybe in plain clothes. Uh, uh, it's telling us to go ahead and push. Um, we thought that somebody that broke one of their windows was in one of these houses, so they tried going in to see if 
see if they could find them. And did they find any, did they bring anybody out? No. So it's just they didn't like, have a warrant. They're just trying to like, you know, look at it, the shot in the dark. It's a firework, you imbecile! A firework! If you can't have a firework, quit your fucking job! Do you still believe that this is about BLM or do you think it's evolved into something else? I think it's about BLM wanting to get their agenda with a political party. I think it's combining very nicely. BLM wants a socialist environment. I think they are the true racist in this whole movement by, by their name alone. Protesters, many of them are doing their very best to keep black issues and BLM issues at the forefront of the discussion. Uh, keep in mind the city is overwhelmingly white. There's like 6% black people, according mm. to the most recent census here. And there are black led organizations that are out there every night chanting and marching and leading and discussing and holding prayer and, and songs. I ain't gonna let no cops turn me around, turn me around, turn me around. I ain't gonna let no cops turn me around. I'm gonna keep on a walking, keep on a talking, marching down a freedom land. I ain't gonna let no racist turn me around, turn me around. Turn me around, I ain't gonna let no racist turn me around. I keep on walking, keep on walking, marching down a freedom land. I ain't gonna let no cop. It's about police brutality, it's about addressing inequality, it's about frustration with the also white mayor who has let the police brutality go on for years and has in fact increased their budget. Um, there's an electoral campaign going on here between a right-in black candidate and a white on-the-ballot candidate, both to take down this mayor. There's a lot going on. Turn me around, turn me around, I ain't gonna let no racist. Turn me around, I'm gonna keep on walking, keep on walking, marching down the freedom way. I ain't gonna let no What's the conclusion of this, of yeah. this protest? I mean, my, my hope, and I think the majority of the protesters' hope, is that it ends when the demands are met, when the city responds substantively, you know, 50% defunds to, to the police. And uh, the, the hope is that that's sooner than later. But the sooner, the sooner that the city responds, the faster this can be over, and the faster that we can get back to other means of organizing and doing other kinds of activism. We still have 300 people out here in the street. Every night. Every night. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't think this energy and this, this um, like, commitment is going gonna, is gonna to go away. 
So do you consider the win as the state police have now left Portland? I, I mean, is this is this progress? And what is like, yeah? Is that, do you consider that progress? I mean, I think it's progress in the sense that we're outlasting them. Right. I don't think that I don't think that their departure means that this is by any means over right. until the city government starts to change its tune in terms of how it's going to back the police. Right. But we are seeing. I think a more hopeful sign of progress is the DA's statement that he's not going to prosecute protesters for a variety of different low-level, you know, and right. offenses related to being protesters. Right. Um, I, I think we do have elements of our government that are trying to push back against this and that there are signs of possible change. <laughs> individuals they said it will get worse after the election if, if Donald Trump is re-elected the unrest and violence will actually increase uh, you know I believe there's a really good chance of that as well and I'm hoping that President Trump has the courage to do what needs to be done and put this to a rest <laughs> Thank you.